What was Ed's big dream for the world? Well, Steve O'Connell, Boston, the big Massachusetts. Massachusetts. In, in, his, in his life that he would talk about was he had the dream of eliminating polio from the face of the planet. There's a cure for it, and the only reason it still exists on the planet is money. And that was always something he would, you know, talk about when it came to thinking big and dreaming big, and that was a big thing for him. Um, he really believed that the only reason polio existed on the face of the planet was money. Um, there wasn't enough money to, to wipe it out. Um, you know, that was, uh, that was one, one issue that comes, you know, uh, right, to, right to mind. And uh, I would say the other thing is he just, um, he felt more equal than the world treated him. And he really just wanted the equal treatment around the horn. You know, and that's really what his, a lot of his speeches and motivational talks came down to, is uh, a fair shot, an equal shake, um, and uh, regardless of, of someone's disability, you know, or ability, or lack of ability. Or, I mean, he never used terms like disability. He had a thousand other words for it. Um, you know, he, he always uh, always would talk in his speeches about the term handicap, he hated it, absolutely hated it. Um, hand in cap meant you were a beggar. You know, uh, he was totally against that. If you pull that word apart, handicap, you know, that's what it comes from. Putting your hat in your hand and shaking it for money. That's the, where the word comes from. Um, you know, he had a lot of he had a lot of verb verbiage things that he really didn't like. You know, he didn't care for disability. You know, he absolutely despised Jerry Lewis telethon. He thought that was the worst thing in the world. I mean, he literally, oh, you want to talk about him getting angry? You know, you were asking me, did things, pet peeves? Jerry Lewis telethon and things like that were a pet peeve. All I had to say was Jerry Lewis, yeah! <laughs> you know, you can light him up like a Christmas tree. Um, just because at that time, the way those telethons worked, they would just bring out these kids and make them look really, really disabled and say, you know, help this child walk, you know, and, uh, you know, that was another, <laughs> that, now, the pet peeves are all coming back to me all at once, you know, the pet peeves, uh, he hated that the goal was to walk. He just thought that was the biggest waste of money, effort, and time. Who wants to walk, he'd say. Give me a break. You all look exhausted from walking all day. He goes, who? What's the big deal about walking? You know, it was great, and people, nobody ever knew how to take that. I mean, his inner circle, you got used to it, but when somebody would come to him and say, we'd like your support, we're uh, raising money to um, cure spinal cord injury so people can walk again. He'd say, walk? Who wants to walk again? I get the best ride in town. I, you know, what are you, crazy? <laughs> you know? he just, and he just thought that that whole focus of fixing the physical body instead of changing the attitudes to treating everybody who you meet as they come um, was just the wrong focus and that used to bother him a lot too.